This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP ProBook 4540S laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP ProBook 4540S laptop computer. Before we do anything with this laptop computer, or most other laptop computers, we need to remove all sources of power, and that includes the battery. So we'll do that first. In order to remove the battery, we'll close the laptop first, and on the bottom, there will be two levers right above the battery. So we'll slide both of those in, the battery will lift up, and we'll tilt it out, and remove the battery. Also, under the battery, we will see the part number listed for this laptop computer, HP ProBook 4540S. Okay, we'll flip the laptop back over and take a look. All right, before we go any further, I'll show you the tools we're gonna use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size of the screwdriver. We have, we have a pair of metal tweezers and that's used to manipulate cables and remove any screws that may be stuck. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife and that's used to remove the screw covers and manipulate the hinge covers also. All right, um, this laptop computer, it's a little bit different than most others in that the hinge covers, these parts right here, are separate from the screen bezel, the frame around the screen. So the first thing you have to do is remove the hinge covers, and that's probably the trickiest and most difficult part of the whole procedure. So we'll start with that, and I'll show you how to do that first, and then we'll move to the next part. Okay, so the hinge covers slide out from from the bottom of the screen, but first you gotta unseat them from the screen cover itself, the plastic bezel. And the way you do that is you reach in and manipulate it so that it comes out a little bit. Same thing over here. Reach in and manipulate it so it comes out. Next, you flip the laptop over and manipulate it so it comes out a little bit here. Not too much. And the same thing on the bottom. Same procedure. Then, using the metal tweezers, we squeeze them together and using the side, try lifting the hinge covers up and out. This, this might take a little while, so go from side to side, and when the hinge cover is above the bottom of the laptop computer, you slide the marrow tweezers in under the hinge cover and gently lift them out like so. There's one, and we'll repeat the procedure here. So go back and forth on the sides until the hinge cover is above the main part of the laptop, then slide the metal tweezer in and gently lift it out. Now for this side, be careful and hold it carefully because if you don't hold it on top, it might just pop out and fly out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put, put them back in because it can be tricky. The first thing you'll notice is that there's two wires that connect to the Wi-Fi antenna in the screen assembly and then go through there. If you don't put it in right, the wires might get stuck on the hinge covers and become damaged. So the first thing you need to do is make sure the wire on the right is on top of the wire on the left. Once you do that, you use the exacto knife to move the wires to the side while you put the hinge cover back in. And when you do that, there's a small tab on the bottom 
and the big tab on the top. Make sure it goes in in that order. So put the hinge cover back in. When you do that, flip it over and make sure that the metal cables are not getting stuck on the bottom. Make sure that the metal the cables are not getting stuck on the bottom. So let's do that again. Make sure the cables are not getting stuck on the bottom of the hinge cover. Move them out of the way and then move the hinge cover in place like so and snap it back in. Okay, and snap the top back in like so and you should be good to go. Okay, it's snapped in. Okay, we're going to remove the hinge cover once more using the same procedure and pull it out like so. Now there will be some small scratches on the side of the hinge covers so you can't really avoid that and at the end try to smooth it out with your fingernails and it will go off a little bit. Okay, now that we have the hinge covers off, this was the hardest part of the whole procedure. We need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove the two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind the screw covers. So what you do is you take the X-Acto knife, and using the X-Acto knife, remove, lift up and remove the screw covers, and Make sure that you can find the screw covers. It's stuck to the side of the screen here, to the screen bezel, and that's okay. Make sure, Just make sure you know where it goes. They can be sticky and go different places. So do the same thing on the other side. And stick it to the side, like so. And the two, two screws at the bottom will be exposed. For those two screws, we use our PH0 screwdriver to remove them and this one requires some force so push it in tightly to start it and then it goes out and for each step for each set of screws what I like to do is keep them in, the, in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when we're putting the laptop back together once you take off the screws you can snap the screen bezel off the way you do this is put your fingers on the screen side or fingertips or fingernails and gently lift up and out and listen, listen for snapping sounds. That means that the bezel is coming off. In doing this, work your way around the screen like so, lifting up and out. And if you get stuck at a certain place, skip that place and go start at a new place and come back to that place later on. So using this, work your way around. And then same thing on the bottom, just pull towards you, like so. And then you lift the screen bezel off. It's getting stuck on the bottom so what we have to do is use our exacto knife or hobby knife to reach in the seam on the bottom and snap it off on the bottom also. Just work your way down to the bottom like this also. until you get to the bottom and then we put the laptop back up again and try again and this time just pull forward and up you might have to try a couple times forward and up and the bezel comes off doesn't always look pretty but it works Okay, for this type of screen, there are some mounting screws that go into the side of the screen and it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the side. 
we need access to these screws, which we don't have yet because they're too far in. So we need to tilt the screen forward away from the screen assembly. And in order to do that, we need to remove the two screws at the top here and here. And once again, we use our PH0 screwdriver for that. One. And two. Once we do that, we can tilt the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly. And this way you see we have access to two of the screws on the side, but not yet the third screw on the side. For the third screw, we have a trick that we use. There's two screws that are holding the screen mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly here and two screws here. And we don't want to remove them all together, but we can loosen them maybe one or two turn, turns so that gives us a little bit more tilt and that will allow us to access the screws on the bottom. So we'll do that. And make sure you don't forget to tighten them at the end. We'll do that and we tilt the screen forward and we see we have just enough room to access the screws at the bottom. So we start with those first. And if you find you still don't have enough, what you do is you loosen these screws some more. But we do have enough and we remove the three screws from each side. Now when you do that, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screens, screws, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you. And what I'm going to do is loosen these screws a little bit more so I'll have a little bit better access. And we remove the bottom screw and keep going one by one, like so. Okay, once we remove the last screw, we see that the screen fell back on us, but we had to tilt it back, so that's okay. Next step is gently start tilting the screen forward. And right away we see that the webcam cable is stuck to the back of the screen and it's held by some adhesive tape. So we, we, use, we use our fingernail or you can use the X-Acto knife to lift up that adhesive tape and that frees the screen like so. And once we lift it up some more we see that there's more adhesive tape and it's stuck to the back of the screen and we can put it down. Also if you want to make the job easier you can remove the connector that goes from the webcam and the video webcam cable can come down and it's a little bit easier to handle the screen this way. Okay, let's look at the screen. For this type of screen, there's only one connector at the bottom and we have to remove it to remove the screen from the rest of the laptop. In order to do that, there's some adhesive tape and we can use our X-Acto knife to start the adhesive tape and use our fingertips to lift it up like so. And also, there's some adhesive tape on the bottom of the video connector. Okay, the next thing we see is that there's a clamping bar that secures the connector. And what we have to do is lift up this clamping bar. So I'm putting it down and lifting it up. Putting it down, lifting it up. Once we lift up the clamping bar, we can slide the connector backward and it comes out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector so you have a good connection. When you slide it in, you can use the clamping, you can hold on to the clamping bar to guide it in. When you slide it in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up look. Okay, pause the video right here. 
this is what a properly connected connection looks like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's pull the connector out and let's take a look at the screen. Okay, as of late 2013, this, uh, this type of screen is the most common screen available for laptops. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LP156WH4. LP156WH4 is the part number that you're looking at. Now for this model laptop computer, most of the screens are matte. The surface is a little bit rough. It's not shiny. For almost all other 15.6 inch laptops, the surface is glossy and it's shiny. And when you order a screen, most likely you'll get a glossy screen instead of a matte screen. Uh, unless you specifically request it. We ourselves do not store stock matte screens, but some vendors do. So most likely you receive a matte screen from us. Also, when you receive a replacement screen, most likely the part number will be different. It will not be LP156WH4, but some other part number, but the screen will look exactly the same. Okay, you can order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit. It comes for free for every screen that we ship. We also have a two-year warranty on our screens and so if something is wrong with the screen lines spots you can return it for a replacement and we also have free email technical support so if you have any problems send us email and we'll walk you through the process finally in the United States we have free shipping free express shipping so you order from us and you'll get your screen in two or three days in most places in the continental United States and if you live outside the United States, we can ship to most parts around the world. So just go through the regular checkout procedure and choose your country. To order from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out that will guide you to buy the right screen online and then go through the regular checkout procedure. When you do get your new screen in, connected as I showed you here. Gently start tilting up the screen. Slide the webcam cable back in like so. So that's in all the way. Then mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets. Put the three screws in on each side. Tighten the two bottom screws on each side. Put the two screws in at the top. Snap on the screen bezel. Put the two screws in at the bottom. And then put the hinge covers back in as I showed you. And that's it. Okay, uh, thank you very much once again. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.